guys what is up it is currently like 10 15 in the morning so as you can clearly tell i literally woke up like two seconds ago so it has officially been 24 hours since i got my mole removed and so if you didn't already watch the process of my removal and everything i'll have like a card somewhere here i think it's over here but i think it's over here to that video if you want to go watch it and i'll also have it in the description so yeah basically this video is going to be the next five days that i have to put on the wound healer and the scar preventer cream and basically just showing the process of the healing and how long it takes to heal which i'm guessing is going to be five days i have no idea but the paper said after five days to discontinue but i have no idea why i should be discontinuing so yeah i'm making my intro right now because i don't want to go into the bathroom and then start talking really loud because you know it really echoes but before i go i just want to list the instructions or describe basically what i'm going to be doing in the bathroom i'm going to be taking the band-aid off basically i'm just going to cleanse the area with mild soap and water and then pat dry with a gauze after i pat dry i'm going to be applying the stratamine gel it looks like this and then I'm gonna cover it with a band-aid and I guess that's it basically until it's healed which is my concern on why they told me to just use it for five days like is it gonna heal in five days so yeah that is basically what I'm gonna be doing for five days and let's just go to the bathroom Yesterday after I put the the cream, all of it was brown. I have my cotton, my band-aids, and a tiny little unscented soap. Basically, right now I'm just gonna wash this. So all this soap on my hand, I'm not gonna use all of it because that'd probably be bad. I'm gonna be drying my hands and my face. And I'm gonna be drying it. Alright, so now I'm gonna be putting this on. It feels so weird. It's like some kind of like... No, so I'm putting it on and I'm like rubbing it on and I realized that the scab parts are flaking off. I don't know if you can see my fingers. see this at the band-aid it's like let me just show you 
So you see this, it's like oil on the sticky part of the bandaid. I have no idea what that is, if it's from the hole in my face or from the oil on my face. I have no idea, but that's been showing up every single morning. I was gonna brush my teeth first, but I feel like I need to do this first. So I'm gonna be washing my hands. And I'm gonna take it off. And it's been hurting. Every time I touch it, it hurts. It's like sore. Ew, what is that? Is that like my pour, my pore juice or something? Ew, like I don't know what that is. Look at that. It's like oil coming down. But okay, yeah, I'm definitely gonna wash this right now. Same thing with the soap. We're gonna be wetting the area. Oh, that feels really weird. It's like really hard and okay. I'm gonna be drying my face with the towel. Ah. So it's looking really weird. Hold on, I'm gonna get one of these. It's looking really weird. Like, I think it's just, like the brown part is gone. Now it's just like the other layers of my skin. Yeah, so I'm just gonna dry it with this. Pat, pat, pat. I'm actually surprised on how fast it's healing. It's probably because of the, the wound healer. Obviously it heals it faster. But now that I've dried it, I'm gonna be putting this on again. I don't know if this video is gonna be like repetitive or something because I am doing this for every day, but and I'm just gonna leave it like that and then put it on and then pull the flaps off. How it sticks the best for me in my opinion. Pull and stick and then stick. It's like yeah, I want it to be really sticky and I want it to actually stay on my face, but when it comes to like the next day and I have to take it off, it hurts. And now I'm going to be brushing my teeth and then I'm going to go eat something because I'm starving. I fell asleep at 7 o'clock last night because I thought I was going to take a nap. Yeah, no, I woke up at 10 this morning. Always brush your teeth before you take a nap because you never know you might wake up the next morning. I'm not even kidding when I say that. I think I'm literally going to take a two-hour nap. One time I fell asleep with makeup on because I thought I was going to wake up in like an hour. No, I woke up the next morning. The full face of makeup on did not brush my teeth. Good thing I did take out my contacts though because it was just... I'll see you guys tomorrow. I was like going crazy because my band-aid is always like wet and I'm like is there stuff oozing out and there was my band-aid is full of some kind of liquid let's wash my face but first I'm gonna wash my hands so I'm actually gonna do something today I'm gonna exfoliate my skin just because it's like really rough I haven't been like washing it I'll be using this ground coffee scrub Basically, just put it like down here and up here. Back to the little soap. It's actually starting to look normal now. I'm putting on this. I almost forgot to put it on. I was about to put on a band aid already. Yeah. So, see you guys tomorrow. Good morning guys, it is the 5th and last day. And the only reason I'm talking right now is because I don't want to talk in the bathroom because everyone's home. Today I'm going to see how it looks and then I'm going to put on the gel today for the last time. So hopefully it'll be about almost healed by tomorrow. But today me and my family are going to be going to the pool. But guess what? I can't put my face in it. Basically I can't get my face wet which is something that I'm kind of wondering how I'm going to do if I'm not in the pool. I can be in the pool and not with my face. But if I'm sitting out and it's like really hot and I start sweating sweating my face is going to be wet either way i don't worry i'm gonna be wearing a hat and sunglasses so you won't even be able to see this and the fact that you can see what's oozing out of it is kind of weird to me because i thought that wasn't normal but i guess it is all right so i'm gonna get up and take care of this 